just a little advice for for the people who, who do similar stuff or probably expect to do uh, the same stuff as well. It's just accuracy. Myself, I have a problem with accuracy. Just following through, like even now, I used a substitution of U and then halfway through I put in K instead of a carrying on with U. So that's a problem, just substitution. Also, doing the questions a lot of times and getting, an, and getting the correct outcome at home will help you in the exam. When you start going through the questions and you wonder like, is this correct? If you have done enough practice at home, you will see the outcome. And then when you start seeing the outcome in the exam, you can be like, hold on, I've done a mistake. Compared to what you've done at home. And then if you're getting the correct, if you're getting the answers correct in the exam, then you can say, okay, well, I'm following the correct method. Uh, is this outcome possible? And then you think back to when you did the exercises at home. Did you get that kind of outcome? Yes. And then you know, okay, well, then I'm following the correct method. And that helps me a lot in all my other subjects. I like to strengthen materials. I know if I'm working with thickness or something, is the answer that I got at home similar to what I'm getting in the exam? Mm. Obviously, it's not going to be the exact same, mm. but going through enough questions, you can go like get an understanding. Like you can look at an answer and see that's not right. Mm. But if you've done enough work, you can see okay, I can see that what I've done, that answer cannot be right, mm. and that helps me a lot with this and all my other subjects. So that's advice from Carl. But just one thing, sometimes I'm, I, I get mad for Carl. I mean, <laughs> Carl, he knows everything. Any question give to him, he's gonna do. But just for some reason, he never give me 98, 98. Yeah. I'm just mad at him for that. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. accuracy. That's yeah. my problem is accuracy. So it's if you're gonna do the work, mm. make sure you follow it correctly. You don't have you don't have two days to do the work, you only have a set amount of hours per the exam. But make sure what you are doing, you're giving your absolute focus to mm. and follow through. Don't mm. don't just like make me like I did a stupid mistake with you and K. Mm. Don't mix that up because the, le the minute a lecturer sees that, it's more from there because you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so since now you have identified your, uh, your weakness, yeah. so how, how have you prepared for it? Because Remember, you're gonna write very soon. You have like yeah. plus minus 24 hours. To go. Yeah. So I wanna, I want you to tell me how have you prepared for that? I mean, as far as working your uh, well in the exam. Well, sex and well in the exam. Which mark should you expect from you? Because we want the promise. Yeah. See, because when you when you, when 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 you say you promise, it means you gonna have to keep it one. Yeah. So how have you prepared for your well as far as making a lot of mistakes? It goes with the exam tomorrow. It's methods and expanding everything as far as possible mm -hmm. showing steps not skipping steps at all show work the if it's like something stupid like differentiation of x squared do it separately so that you don't make a mistake show the steps because that's how you get more marks just doing all the steps don't skip the steps and then now just work flat out even if you're tired work flat out till tomorrow and then tomorrow night after exam well then you can crash then you've done it so, which match should you expect from you? Like, you gotta keep your work. Look, you're always uh, hoping to pass, but there's always like 70% for it. Uh, or uh, an A for it, even. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Right? I mean, this one, this one I'm married with Carl. He knows all this stuff, but just for some reason. I'm happy with it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know you shouldn't, you should always fight for more though, but like, you always. Aim for a hundred because you can get it. It's, it's maths. It's not like language where it's it's subject to how you wrote an essay. I mean, maths follows a formula. You can get a hundred percent. So, which much you, which much you expect from you for tomorrow? Always a hundred percent. You should expect. So guys, man, you know, probably <laughs> next time, Carl is gonna give us feedback on how much it got. Thanks so much. Uh, thank, you. thank you very much, Carl. I appreciate it. So, cool. people watching, we expect hundred. He's not joking, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. This time he's full prepared, so yeah. 100%. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Carl. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Peace and love. Peace. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.